Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and today's topic is topology optimization. It's really, really neat. And what it does is it allows you to take a shape of some piece of geometry that you have that is going to be forced in some way and optimize that geometry to uh, have minimum mass or minimum deflection or there's a number of optimizations or goals that you can achieve with this um, fantastic process. So in order to do it, you go to the topology optimization tool. And here it is uh, under uh, the home or topology optimization. <clears throat> and you get a, a wizard and you select uh, if you're going to do structural linear statics or natural frequency optimization. And you can name your study. Study 01 is fine. Okay. <clears throat> and then you have the top topology optimization navigator. And what you do, as always, is make sure that all your red check marks are taken care of. So uh, we're going to do a study that is a minimization of the volume piece of geometry it is a big aluminum bar it's about 36 inches long and i'm going to put about a thousand pounds at the end of it and i'm going to bolt it to a wall with these four locations now uh, before i actually do the optimization i want to do some, some slight changes to the model i want to um, actually uh, represent the head, or I should say, um, how this is going to be bolted to the wall here. So I'm putting some, I'm putting some uh, curves here that res represent the head of the bolt that I'm going to bolt this thing down with. So I'm offsetting these curves, and at the end of this thing, I'm going to have a big old bolt that um, holds like a clevis or, um, you know, that I screw this weight down on. And now that I've done that, I'm going to go into the uh, uh, subdivide face, uh, divide face here. And I'm going to divide this face with those curves that I've just created with the offset curve command. And I'm going to divide this face as well, like so. OK, then I'm going to go into the optimization tool. So you go to more topology optimization. It's linear statics, study 01, say OK. Um, I've already set the uh, material to aluminum 6061. So, sure. oh, now you can um, ask the resolution to be ultra fine or coarse. I'm going to put it in the middle. Well, not in the middle, but towards ultra fine. So we're not here all day long. Okay, to that. And I'm going to go to Design Space, and I'm going to select the geometry. It says Aluminum 6061 has already been assigned. If it hit, if it didn't, I'd click on this button. Say OK there. And I'm going to uh, go to the optimization. And what I'm going to do is specify that um, I want to make sure that the maximum uh, yield stress, maximum stress that's going to be on the resulting body is 50% uh, of the yield stress for aluminum 6061. And so as you can see, there's the max stress limit that I'm setting. So I say OK to that. Good. And now the analysis constraints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put fixed constraints on all of these surfaces as if the bolts were going through this piece of geometry and bolting it to a wall. So this is a cantilever beam. 
and it's a big aluminum cantilever beam. It's roughly two inches by four inches and 36 inches long. And so there's a much more, um, there's a much more optimized shape than just this big old aluminum square thing, squarish thing. And I'll say okay to that. And then finally it's asking me to create loads and I'm going to load up this face and this internal face and I'm going to put a thousand pounds on it and I'm going to uh, be pushing it down that way. Okay. So there, I have all the setup that I need. Everything is ready. Uh, and then I click on the magic button here, optimize. And um, since I've got a uh, resolution that's near ultra fine, this is going to take a while. And um, I just heard my computer turn on. Well, not turn on, but I heard the fan go on because now really struggling with all this calculation. And you can see it's graphing the uh, convergence, the convergence. All right, so now we display, we show the results. I'm going to just get rid of this thing. I'm going to show the results, and you will be astonished at the shape. Look at that. So what this is saying is if I bolt it against the wall and I put the force on here like this, all I need is this geometry here. Interesting. And it's saying that my maximum deflection will be 0.671 uh, inches. This is an inch file. So I could put a thousand pounds on a structure like this and it will just, uh, you know, look, look at that. So that is uh, pretty amazing. And, uh, you know, we need to experiment with this. It would be lovely to actually now 3D print this. If I had an aluminum 3D printer for about $400,000. <laughs> I would do just that and see if these results are actually real. I, I'm assuming they are. So anyway, that's uh, topology optimization. I think it's amazing. I think I uh, need to experiment with it and come up with shapes that, you know, are not just squarish, rectilinear sh shapes that are easy to uh, calculate with your closed form equations that you might have learned in engineering school. And uh, this is the kind of thing that... Uh, you know, really is a sea change in how we design and think. My name, again, is Steve Samuel.